<clears throat> Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing this fine Friday afternoon? And holy crap. Holy crap. Things have definitely taken a uh, definitive turn. I've been uh, exploring my second character. And yeah. There's uh, a lot of stuff that we missed out on. Like, let me tell you right now. You guys remember these coins? You guys remember how we got to a point? We found some coins. Where was it? Right here. <clears throat> you guys remember these? Listen. I was a child who had these coins. <laughs> you guys might remember our good friend Byron saying something about dashed its brains out. I was a child. Okay, listen, he busted that child's head open with a shovel. It's pretty messed up. That is some pretty messed up stuff. I don't know why Byron would do that, but it just turns out that in my other playthrough, I convinced him not to do it, but not in this one. Oh no, not in this one. However, I've been running around all over the place trying to find pyromancy lady because she moves she moves after you show up next to her on a dress this is like the weirdest thing so this one was kind of spoiled to me on twitter i was just cycling through my my feed and uh i ran into this this uh thread where somebody was saying something about how oh man it feels like fire kind of sucks in this game and I was like, you know what? I kind of agree with that because I've been playing a pyro class and it definitely feels extremely underpowered, particularly because I was also playing it next to my good friend Wada who is playing an umbral class. And let me tell you, the power shifts in that situation were wild. But, you know, Immediately in the reply, Cowboy just goes like, Yeah, man, it's because of the quest line. You need to show up to this girl in the dress. And I was like, wait, what? So that's how I find out that you're supposed to come to her like this. No, actually, you need to wear the whole thing? Okay. Well, we do have the whole thing. This, this is something that I would have never thought of. But, you know, I ran into it. So I figured, hey, let's advance this. Why not? Why not? I usually don't look these things up. It's not as interesting. Like, I found the, the child in... What's it called? In the depths? That I found organically. And that quest is so easy to miss out on. Holy crap. It is very easy to mess, miss out on that quest. Where's the, the legs of the noble woman? What the hell? Here we go. Acceptable attire. The noble people of Moonstead. Carved the noble the people of Nornstead. And baptized in the blood of innocence. The so this the triggers blood. her to move. And this is the part where I don't know where she moves to. But I have a theory. And that's what I want to test out. Also, what armor was I wearing? God damn it. Here's another interesting thing that's happened since last time. At the end of the last stream, I was looking at my character. You guys remember how he bought an armor at the end of the last stream? This is a very interesting, this is a very interesting thing. In the last stream, we bought it, an armor set. And I wasn't paying too much attention. I was just like, oh man, this is a badass looking armor set. I can't wear this armor set. You want to know why? Not sure if you guys can tell. I didn't notice this first time around, but let me make sure that you all notice it. These are human hands! 
I was like, man, this armor looks badass. Why does it need to have human hands stuck in nails in the belt? It's a belt of human hands. I was like, I don't want that. What the hell do you mean? What? I don't want a belt of human hands. I did not ask for this. No, thank you. No, sir. So, that's why we're currently wearing this armor instead. Holding his pants up for... That belt seems handy. <laughs> it's a tool belt, so you can be a handy man. Jesus Christ, dude. This game's messed up, all right? That's what you guys need to understand. This game's real messed up, okay? Now, continuing. I have a theory that the girl, the the pyro lady, will have moved here. She will have moved... I have a theory, I don't know, because this is where we found the Rune of a Deer. Which, by the way, the Rune of a Deer was being guarded by potentially the easiest boss in this whole game. Bro, that Huntress is a chump. That Huntress is an absolute chump. Okay. Boop. By the way, Wada, if you're still here, while I've been looking for this NPC, I found out where... Byron goes with the little girl. And the little girl sells a really cool ring. I seem to remember, was there an item here? The little girl sells a really cool ring. Yeah, not for you though, a really cool ring for me. It's a ring that makes it so that whenever I ignite enemies, they also get burned. However, Pyro Lady sells a really good ring for you. A ring of mana regen. By doing what I did just there. Now that we have that, uh, I need to get this. Actually, I don't really need to get this. I want to get this, which is different. You get them eyeballs. Although, I don't really have to go down there, do I? Have I been down here yet, even? Oh, this is where the two dudes are. Okay. <laughs> Justice has been achieved. So, now we can go from here. Now, my suspicion is that Pyro Lady would be here, but maybe she's no longer here because we already picked up the Rune of a Deer. So, maybe we broke her quest line by doing that. I don't know. But anyway, she's clearly not here, so rip that theory. Ripping pieces. Ripping pieces. Now, I also have a couple of more things to do in the depths. As you guys know, usually we do a little bit of backtracking ahead of uh, all of these streams. That's just the way that it goes. It's just the nature of the beast. Put this guy down. Put you down in the ground where you belong. Crazy Jim. Crazy Jim goes down in the ground. Yeah, that's what I'm using on my spellcaster uh, character right now. Oh, right. Wada doesn't need mana anymore. See, Wada found, Wada found something in the depths with me last night. That he just doesn't need mana anymore. And I actually need to go get that stuff from the depths as well. 
Bro, the depths is one hell of a place. It's got so many things, dude. It is straight up wild. The amount of stuff that is hidden in the depths. So, we're gonna go there. Although I also want to go... Why did I put the seedling? Is that still at the Tower of Penance? No, it's not, is it? It's at the bottom. It's at the bottom of the tower, right? Well, the bottom of the tower works too, to be honest. Need to go do this thing real quick. Oh my, why are there items in here? Bro, am I the only one who can't see nothing? Stop, okay, just, just stop. Oh, the elevator's here, okay. Actually, maybe the elevator's not here? Am I screwed? Can I not go from here? I guess once you go up, this elevator no longer works, huh? Oh, no, wait, this thing has two levers! Ah, uh, that's what I did wrong. Okay. Okay. See, John, this game really tried to follow Frum's quest design, but failed, Amaya. When I finish, I'm not sure I'll bother to play again. I don't know why you would say that. I don't know why do you think it failed. I mean, the quests are just as obscure in most Souls games. I don't. I don't get that. Good morning, some guy. There it is. See, last time I didn't realize that the elevator could keep going up. Oh. What's happening here? There's an item there. There's a chest. Big old chest. Yes, dude. What's this? Ah, this is where you got it, Wada. Now I see. This is where you got the sweet hat. Map of Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters. Wait, what? Then you're supposed to do the t this before the Abbey. I thought it was the other way around. I thought you were supposed to do the Abbey and then this. But you're supposed to do this and then the Abbey. I was always wondering, like, why did I never found the map of the Abbey? That is weird. So here's where it is. Okay. Well, now that I know that. Cleanse the beacon. Cleanse it! I did the Abbey before this because I thought the Abbey was supposed to be first. We did it! Okay, so that's cleanse number four. And also, let me see how this hat looks in my character. Does it take my beard away? It doesn't. Nice. See, that is a sweet looking hat. I need that hat. I need that hat in my life. Problem is, if I wear that hat, well, to be honest, it's actually, it's actually not that much lighter than my helmet. Helmet's like here. Wait, eight, wait, 3.9. 
It's not that big of a difference. It's just, in order to wear this hat, I feel like, bro, we need to wear heavier armor. But I'm already wearing the heaviest stuff I can get. But I need the hat. The hat needs to happen. It's just that simple. So I believe the tank we're using is Guardian. Okay, so. Boop. There we go. Now we have a proper hat. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Can we keep going up? That'd be amazing, but no. We can only pull this one. We can't go further up, but I want to go up. Up, up, and away, I say. Okay. Having finished it, I totally get the hate. The mobs, the horrendous lock-on, the entry climactic epilogue, the trivial boss fights, a promising first attempt, but much can be improved. I don't... I still don't get the hate. I think the game's fun. Now, you know, you do get to a point where you can completely overpower bosses, like we have kind of gotten to. Like, there hasn't really been... Ever since we've gotten that new eyeball... There hasn't really been a single boss fight that has been really challenging in any realistic way, right? We just destroy everything. That's pretty much what we do. It's not particularly challenging ever since we've gotten that thing. Uh, but I think that was a little bit of an adjustment. They can fix that. The further I get in, the more I dislike the game. I'm the exact opposite. Dude, this is so weird to me, dude. I get, I feel like I'm this. I live in in a different reality than than the community, which is interesting. But I feel like I'm in a different reality where I feel like a majority of people loved Lies of P, whereas to me, Lies of P was a mixed bag. Where it's like there were things that I really liked about Lies of P, and there were things I couldn't stand about Lies of P. Like, the, the the Margaret Derangement Syndrome was way too much in Lies of P. It's too much. Like, I'm sorry. I, I think it's unreasonable. The, the amount of time that the mobs hold... There's like, hold! Hold! Like, friggin' Braveheart. You know, I can hear Mel Gibson screaming at these mobs, going like, Hold! And then when the attack comes down, there's no... I believe that some people were analyzing it, and I think that somebody even made a, an analysis video to the average human response time and how fast the attack comes down. And they were saying that, like, look, a majority of people are just not going to be able to react fast enough to this attack coming down because it just comes down too fast. It's like a couple of milliseconds and like, bam! And, you know, I feel like a lot of bosses did do that. And I didn't like that at all. But, you know, I still platinum the game, so it's whatever. But in this game, I just feel like the more I play it, the more I have fun. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been interesting to see that I kind of uh, am on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to this. Okay, did they reset the brightness of the game, dude? Because I can't see shit. Okay, did y'all? They did. They reset my brightness. Okay, that makes sense then. I was like, bro, I can't see shit. That's a little bit better. Uh, now let's see. There was something here that I missed last time. Oh god! No 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 no! No no! Uh uh! Mm -mm. Uh uh! Stop looking at me, eyeball. Wait, why is that guy alive? Now listen, brother. I'm gonna need you to settle down. Oh, I didn't mean like that, but sure, that works too. Now, one of the things that I missed here was this! And there's a chunk in here! Chunky chunk! And then I think I missed something else, but I don't remember what the other thing was, so it's whatever. It's probably not a big deal. Is there an item here? No. This is just to blow up this thing. Boom! Oof. Uh, where do I fall from here? Uh, wait, I can jump there. Oh, right, there's an item over there. 
Yes, that's it. That was the other thing I missed. Oh, it's not an item, it's a scarring. Oh, but it's a scarring that has something important. I forget what it was, but the scarring has something important. Perception Wisp. See, this is one of the things that I don't know what this does. It's a key item. <clears throat> and I still haven't figured out what this does. Um, What am I doing? Inventory. Some form of intangible umbral manifestation. It's got a bunch of eyeballs. Probably important. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I think I've done all the other stuff around there. So, bunk. There's enemies near. I need you guys to not be near, okay? Lies of P offers a smaller, more railroaded, but much more polished experience. If you like exploring and level design, this game takes the cake. Yes, if you like responsive combat, Lies of P wins. Um. <clears throat> See, the thing about that is that yes. You could consider it more responsive, but at the same time, it's also more restrictive. Like, Lies of P is straight up built around that parry system of theirs, and with the boss attacks being as punishing as I've mentioned previously, there are some situations that I just don't like. And I know that people are like, oh, but you can dodge, and it's like, yeah, you can, but it doesn't change the fact that dodging in that game feels like shit. Like, yeah, you can dodge. Yeah, sure. You can invincibility frame a lot of stuff. The dodge still feels terrible. It does. Like, I'm sorry, I, I cannot relate when people tell me, dodge is fine. Nope, I don't agree. <clears throat> I would rather this game's dodge over Lies of P dodge any day of the week. And this game's dodge is weird because it goes like, whoa. Like, look at my dodge. It goes like, whoa. I'll take that over whatever the hell Lies of P had. And I upgraded, uh, I did like all of the P Oregon upgrades and all that bullshit. Okay, so now that I did this, what did I need to do next? Um, I guess next up is the depths. That is the other thing that I still need to go do. Although I should swing by the hub, see what the hell is going on with this uh, seed thing. But I don't think there's any character there that can actually do anything. I feel like I've probably screwed up a lot of NPC quest lines by just playing the game and trying to explore stuff. Excuse me. Excuse me. No! And handle 
the exception access violation. Okay. Let me see if this one's different than the ones that I've had previously. <laughs> I'll, I'll lower the visuals a little bit to prevent this from happening much more today. Let me just see if uh, this was one of the codes that I already sent over or not. It's weird, man. <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Okay, so this one says fatal error, whereas the one that I got now said access violation. Exception access violation. <clears throat> All right. Did you patch your AMD driver? Yes, I did. Earlier this morning. Stop using cheat engine, bro. Yeah, that's why I'm dealing so much damage. Why do you think I've been like two shotting bosses and shit like that? I patched my, my hammer to deal additional damage using cheat engine. Imagine the save data is erased. It better not. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It better not. <laughs> if that happens, guess what, guys? You're gonna be seeing a pyro co-op playthrough real fast. I'm telling you right now, if this save file gets deleted, you're getting a, a co-op playthrough with me and Wada like real fast. <laughs> We're going to do the swap like that. We're going to go from cleansing all of the beacons to cleansing no beacons. <sighs> now then, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we got it. We're going to have to go ahead and just change stuff. Uh, I mean, the only thing I have on ultra is the texture quality. So, Ah, the hell with it. I'll, I'll take- I like chromatic aberration. I'll turn it off too. The hell with it. Okay, look, I'm just- I'm just done with the crashing. I'll, I'm about to play the game on low, okay? I'll put the whole thing on low just to stop it from crashing, if that's what needs to happen, alright? Also, I just realized that my, uh... My monitor... Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, why am I here? Where am I? Oh my god, it- oof. It backtracked me so hard. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Ow. Rest. Okay, now then. Where is... Bro, did I not... Give me that. Is PS5 the more stable version? I mean, it definitely doesn't crash as much. Okay. But I don't think this will crash as much anymore either. We're just uh, running too many things on high. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Depths. Depths. So for the depths, we need to go oh, wait, I wonder if maybe you can meet, you can probably meet 
pyro lady at the Tower of Penance. That's that's a definitive possibility that we need to explore. Uh, let's see. So we're going depths. Do I go in reverse? Yeah, let's do reverse depths. Hoist is better? I don't think so. I think that doing it in reverse is probably preferable. God damn. I'm on an only crusade. How are you doing, sir? Oh, damn. You have another one of those? Bum, bum, ba bum, bum, bum. about this regular duralium nuggets nuggies nuggies for everyone nuggies for me nuggies for you actually come to think of it going the other way would have been much better you are right one i really don't feel like going through these dudes and when i say going through them i mean going through them Uh, no, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Told you we were going through them. So it's actually square. pretty good takes care of that now there should be a big boy around here somewhere hey big man how are you doing oh i'm just gonna fumble you the next time. don't worry about it oh i thought these guys were crossbow dudes lucky all right so now we go through here See if I can remember exactly where the item that I need is. Damn, I forgot how deep in we were. God damn you, Archer. Why do you like this? This is why nobody likes you. Okay, so it should be here. Bust through here. Wait, was it this one? No, this is for the little girl's base, right? Yeah. This is where the little girl's supposed to be, except, uh... Oh, you can actually see the blood! Look at that water! Holy shit, dude! I never noticed that! <laughs> Look at that shit! What? Oh my god! <laughs> Dashed her brains in! Jesus Christ! Oh man, that is fucking vicious. <laughs> Once you know what takes place here, that is vicious.
Good lord, he just like sneaked up on her and was like, BAM! Oh man. Oof. Uh, now where was the item down here that I needed? Uh, if it's not here... For some reason I thought it was in here. It's not here, I no longer know where it is. Uh, it's probably the thing where you have to go umble. Maybe? Uh, so, we go... Okay, yeah, we come through here. Whoa! God, that was scary. Where the shortcut bridge is that you kick down? Really? So it's not this thing? I do remember that I did pick up that thing. Oh, damn, the shortcut bridge was way down, though. Or is it this one? Is it this one? So it's this way? No. This is where we came from. Bro, even when I know that there's something here, I still don't know where it is. Yeah, see, this ain't it. Because this is the place where we got the chunk. I have the chunk already. See, there's no item here. There's nothing here either. So there's nothing here that I need. Dude, the depths are mazy as hell. It's like me and Wada found this thing last night and now I can't find it again. Yeah, was it before this or after this? See, that's the cave of the little girl. That's where we came from. Look at that little shit up there. Look at it. Joy, bitches. Dude, I'm telling you, that thing is so well hidden, I'm not going to be able to find it. <gasps> See, we're back at where we were before. Yeah, we've been here. We a million percent have been here. God damn it. Oh, I think maybe we have to fall down that way. I don't think this was it, What? I'm pretty sure I did this. Oh no, I didn't do it. Okay. This was it. Fuck me! Stop! Jesus!
there already somebody behind me again? Let me in! Friggin' deal with it. Gimme. Pendant of atrophy. Alright, we got that. Now we need to get that thing. God damn it, really? Really? care of that. Okay, this. <clears throat> Go. Uh, so in order to jump there. Okay, it's over there. But first, we gotta go over here because of reasons. Even though, technically speaking, I don't need this item, but I need this item, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations. Like, do I really need this item? Am I ever really going to use it? No. But! I need it. Okay, now... I still have it, Wada. You see that shit? I still have it. Okay, so now that I've gotten that, I've gotten the thing, I've gotten the blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the pendant that we got, by the way, is again, I don't really need it, but I need it. You know, this is actually giga overpowered, by the way. If you're using Umbral Sorcery, this is the ultimate that you basically have infinite mana forever. That's it. That's it. That's, you just have infinite mana forever. That was the one that we got in that Umbral area previously. You just have infinite mana forever. Just in case you've ever wanted to have infinite mana forever, you can do it with this. Now, the other item that we got that I said is completely worthless that I'm never going to use. And the funny part is, it's called snake oil. <laughs> snake oil, dude. Oh, I can't see the amount of... Uh, why can't I see the amount of spell charges on this thing? I was curious about this. Yeah, it's only three spell slots. Yeah, this sucks. I don't want this. I don't want none of this. I'll take this one instead. Thank you very much. Oh, it's only at plus five? Bro, why haven't I upgraded this yet? I have, like, infinite large chunks. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Hmm. Look at that. It's a hand on a face. I never noticed that part. <clears throat> I 
Is that an archer that I see down there? He fell and he survived. Yeah, as I was saying, the other item that I picked up was... Just now was this, the enhanced snake oil grenade. It's not even that great. What is this one? Rogar oil flask. Flicks fire damage and ignite buildup and reduces fire resistance. It's a face! Looks like the face of a baby. Cursed effigy. I don't even remember this one. Okay. Enhanced grenade. Uh, what was the other thing that I wanted to do now then? We can go back and we can pick up the... I need to pick up another item that I missed on. Bro, I missed on so many things. It's so frustrating. It's very frustrating indeed. Very frustrating. So here's another thing that I missed, and it was in a zone that I was already in. I thought I had explored the whole zone, and there was a whole side section that I've discovered earlier today as I was just... Because I've just been running through the whole game looking for Pyro Lady. So, we're gonna go... to... Where is it now? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I think we might even go from Skyrest. Yeah, Skyrim is my, might be the fastest way. Doop, doop, boop, doop. Rhea, are you a strength build person across all souls likes in general? You just wanted to go full bonk for this game. See, this is a common misconception. What do you mean a strength person, my dude? Does my build look like a strength build? I have more radiance than strength. But yes, I'm usually a strength person. You're 100% correct in your assessment. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Decorated sword is no small. Oh, here's another interesting thing, Wada. I killed this guy in my other game today. This is a really strange thing, and I don't know what triggered it. You guys remember how we fought the Iron Wayfarer uh, on the last stream in this save? So number one, I went there with Wada in his world, and the Iron Wayfarer wasn't there. And then I went there in my world, in my second character, and I found the Iron Wayfarer much further ahead in the places where he found his memories. I found him there, and I don't know what triggers that distinction. And then eventually Andreas uh, over there invaded me, and so I had to put him down. I put his ass down like a dog. Put him down on the ground. Heads up guys, I think we're about to crash the game again. Or I've seen some people compare this to Dark Souls 2. Would you say there's even a comparison? Uh, in a, interestingly enough, in a lot of ways, yes. There is a bit of a comparison. We made. I think I'd still prefer this over Dark Souls 2. But, I mean, that's today, right? Dark Souls 2 came out, like, how many years ago now? So obviously there's a difference, but... Oh crap, this was really tall. Hello, brother. Come here. I have some choice words for you, brother. Oops, not what I meant to do. This is the other item that I missed. And this one is rather important, actually. The Umbral Eye of the Bloody Pilgrim. Because you see... This item might make the Cursed Spear build work. 
I can't even say that with a straight face! You know, this might just make that spear be really good. Imagine the spear build, but good. <laughs> Evan, lies equals fun and challenge, Lord equals easy but tedious. I disagree. I fundamentally disagree. I found the armor that I want and getting it with such a ridiculous grind it requires PvP and man does the PvP need improving. Dude, I actually got invaded today on PS5. And I realized that, um, you guys remember when I made the multiplayer video about this game? And in my multiplayer video I said, okay look, number one priority these developers need to work on is the netcode. They gotta fix their netcode, their netcode is terrible, I don't, I don't know what else to say about it, right? There's the rubber banding, all of that stuff. Listen, let me tell you something, okay? What I said in that video is even more important than what I realized at the time. I got invaded today by a dude that had this spell. Okay, let me show you this spell. A dude that had this spell, okay? And here's the thing, I know what this spell does. I know when the things fire. I know when it happens. I know exactly what frame I need to dodge on. The problem is, when you put latency on it, uh-oh, that's not gonna work. So basically this thing is virtually undodgeable. Because if you notice, they don't fire at the same time. Like pay attention, if you notice, you'll see the left one fires first. Like watch. Left, right. And that, makes it two hits that don't hit at exactly the same time, makes it even harder to dodge. I can still dodge that. The problem is, bump this and is, forget about it. Like, listen, I was 40 vitality and that thing is like, poof, one shot, poof, one shot. You couldn't dodge it. Cause like I got one shot into Umbral, I healed and he hit it again. And he didn't even need to attack me. He just straight up did that and there's nothing you can do. Because the other thing is, this thing shoots through walls, right? Like, this thing shoots through walls, so you can't even line of sight it. It's just like... And I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay. bum <laughs> bum now, let me go ahead and do this. Uh, crap. Wada, if you're there, I need your help. I need your help, Wada. Wada, help me. I don't remember where we found the third Umbral upgrade. God damn it. Because I know we had the- th I have the three upgrades in my other character, I don't know where I found the fucking thing. Anyway, uh, socket on the line. Let me see. Yeah, light attacks deal bonus damage, but only deal wither damage. I've been wondering if this could make the- the spear build work. But to be honest, I'm not going to be messing with this too much. I just wanted to pick up that eyeball. Now, let's go do the other thing that I missed up on. The, today is just like big backtrack day. We need to hit the mines. Can you be invaded any time or only when you are co-oping like Elden Ring? Uh, you can be invaded at any time. 
see, we came here, and the interesting thing is, the first time we came here... Oh, let me just grab this dude. First time we came here, I went this way, okay? And because at the time, I was like streamer brain, so when I came back, I was like, yep, this is it, and now we go back. And we just went back through here and done. Which means we didn't explore this whole section. We just skip it. Like, yep, who needs that? <clears throat> okay so I forgot to explore this whole section and the good news is that this section actually has quite a few um, upgrade thingies burn cure Hell just threw something at me. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, did I just found yet another thing? Oh my god. Another inter interesting point. I didn't come this way. Oh, but I know where this is. So we don't need to go this way. Interesting. Okay. Gotcha. Anything else in here? Are we good? Okay. I don't know which ones you've gotten, but one is in Mans, one is in the Fife, and another one is in Lower Callrath. So I got the Lower Callrath one. Where is the the one in Mans I got as well? So I'm missing the one in Fife. Where did we go in Fife that I didn't go solo? Where was the Fife one, Wada? Oh, how did I end up here? Oh, okay, we went through here and then... Go back to the Karangar boss. Oh my god, could it be that I didn't pick that one up? Remember how I was telling you that I didn't remember if I picked that one up? God damn it. It might be that one. It might actually just be that one. Because I know it's not the one in Mans. And I know for a fact I picked up the one in Kalrath. Oh my god, I'm so mad now. It's probably the boss one. Because I didn't go to... I didn't go to Umbral. Oh, this thing just one-shots you. Interesting. I thought this was suspicious. Because I also died here in my other game. You have to die in order to get that item? That's so dumb. Would you do a walkthrough for Lords of the Fallen Rurikon? Hell no, there's too much. It's too much, man. Like, as you can see, I have a hard enough time keeping tabs on the things that I have picked up and that I have done, let alone trying to keep tabs on everything in the game. There's so many different quest lines, of which I probably messed up most of. Not to mention that I have more fun, like, 
Because I know that most people will just look stuff up, right? If they want to know a certain quest line or whatever, ba ba ba. I've been having so much more fun discovering things organically. Like that lightning? You like that lightning? Yes, you do. I like lightning. How about you? See you later, Wada. Have fun. Wait. That lava wasn't like that before. That item over there is dubious. Dubious. Now, there should be a ladder over there. Yep, that's the next thing we're going to be doing. So I'll pick up this item real quick. Preferably without getting my ass killed. Hello, my friend. Okay, what in the hell? One of those suicide dudes hit me in the ass. Stop that. I'm gonna say I loved your walkthrough back in the day. I picked up the S2 because I found your channel. I think that might have been one of the few games that I have done a walkthrough for. Jesus Christ. I remember that walkthrough. I was using like the, um, I was using a rapier of some kind. It wasn't the baller swag, it was something else. Yeah, see there's a large derillium. Large derillium. That's really what I came here to get is that large derillium. Does the hammer one shot everything? It one shots most things. It's a big, beefy hammer. We put some beefy stats into it. He's a big boy. He's a big one. Okay, so now we've done this. Now I need to go see about that boss area in Fief. It's so easy to miss stuff, too. Ooh, I got the Infernal Enchantress skirt. Got her skirt. What are your stats? Uh, I've got like 40 radiance. So I'm about to hit 40 strength. 32 vitality. Right now I'm basically pumping radiance, vitality, and strength. Agility is base. This class came with 14. And then 25 endurance. The reason I have 14 agility is because initially this was going to be an agility build. But because I wanted to use spears, right? I wanted to use spears, and it seemed like agility was going to be the way to go. So I start pumping agility, and then what I notice is, number one, spears suck in this game. Spears are bad, okay? They're just not good. And then number two, the spear that I actually wanted to use, which was a boss weapon, scaled off of strength and radiance. So I swapped the strength and radiance to use that spear, and then it turns out that spear is actually really friggin' bad. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Careful doing multiplayer. Seems a lot of people are having their levels resetted after a multiplayer session. I've heard about that. It hasn't happened to me yet. But then again, I think I've on PC I've mostly been playing offline. Me and Wada have been playing multiplayer on console non-stop and no issues so far. Silly doggles. All right, takes care of all of that. Now we have to deal with um, Mr. Face. There he is. 
There he is. It's your boy. Actually, let me try this. Oh, that was worthless. Try that again. That was also worthless. Settle down, brother. Just settle down. Don't even worry about it. Holy crap, he dropped a lot of stuff. What a nice guy. And yep, this is the one that I missed. I can't even believe it! Blow the hell! There it be. There it be. I know that you can flay their soul for a thingamabob. It's fine. I think I did this one already, but... Oh, it's... May your grace sustain me. May your grace sustain me. Take me to Skyrest. <laughs> there it be. Now, brother. Upgrade my umbra lamp. Now, we can socket one more umbral eye right here. Okay. Now I need to go get one more healing item that I also know where it is, which should be <clears throat> here. By the fen, up the ladder, and up the mountain. Oh, you're talking about the 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 nuggies thing. Okay, yeah, sure. You can get nuggets there. For sure, for sure. So let me see if I remember correctly. Uh, we need to go over this way. This is a bit of a tricky item to get. Now we go through here. And through here. an item here. This isn't that good, just gives you an extra spell slot. Well, to be honest, I don't really need extra stagger damage from holy stuff, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, where was the other thing? Another... Stop that. So, it's actually further this way, it seems. Up. <clears throat> oh, I think it's actually this way. Actually, I don't want that. I'm so completely lost. I just need to go through this level until I find the thing that I want. Wait. God damn. How do I even get there? Aha! Yeah, that's it. That's it. 
That is correct. So, go through here. I'm just gonna kill this guy because I keep coming back to this room. These levels are beyond mazy. Could it be into the door where the other guy is, or is it this way? No, it can't be this way. But I think it was this way. No, because this way doesn't have a way. It's okay, I'm mapping it in my head, guys. Slowly but surely. Can I break this? at the same exact spot. This is very bad. That means that this is not the way. Wait, I even have the ladder here already. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. It's okay, guys. I'm really stupid. That's all you need to know. It's right here. I'm losing my goddamn mind. There we go. Now we have it. Is that a poison swamp? There, that's pretty, that's pretty much what it is. Excuse me. Really, bro? I'll stay an umbral then. It was so much simpler than I was making it out to be. I think we've gotten everything. We can warp back to Skyrest. <clears throat> and now we can upgrade our healing thing again. Our holy yeah, word continues, lamp bearer. Sanguinatrix plus nine. Vessel. May Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. I have a couple of more large nuggies, which means I can start bumping this.
Not much more than this, as it turns out, but still. Yeah, I know that you can use that to boost defenses, but we don't really need that right now. There hasn't really been a situation where we've needed that so far. Uh, let's go speak with the priest, see if I've gotten everything, or if there's anything else I can give him. I feel like I've definitely missed some stuff for him. This land is over too often. Yeah. Also, they Because, like, I feel that he should have given me more miracles, and he hasn't. We haven't gotten any miracles off of him, pretty much. So, I don't know what I'm missing for his quest. Maybe I'll get it later, but... That's pretty wild. Okay, and I think at this point... Ah, there's one more thing. Check this out. So as I've been looking for Pyro Lady... Oh, she's not here anymore. There's another lady that spawns here. But I guess we missed her. That's another quest that I've messed up. Well. Ripperinos. Let me tell you guys, we've missed like 90% of quest lines this playthrough. Like, it is wild. You be on your way till the day I can fuck this. Yeah, this guy's not gonna leave here anymore. We also can't do anything here, right? Yep. Okay. Very well. Only one thing left. I do want to check up real quick. The thing that sucks is that in this game, if you don't advance NPC quest lines, they just disappear. They're gone. This would have been an interesting spot to find her in. Nope. No dice. Maybe we'll find her later. Maybe we won't. Okay, then it's time for the one thing that I do know that we can do, which is this. Does Laser Lady not respawn? She 
does. Oh, there's two of them. I'll deal with you in a minute, Huntress. Really? What in the frack? Large nuggies? There's no path right there, right? I'm wondering if there'd be a way to climb up there through here. Oh, there is! This is when you know that leadership has gone wrong, when they're like, I'm protecting you from yourself, and it's like... <laughs> Shield of the Moonlit Emissary. Child catalyst. What the hell just happened? But more importantly, why is it happening? Feels like I need to grab that, but I can't from here. Maybe I can from down here. No, I can't. Oh, this thing.
Yoink! Nothing left here. Oh, damn. Uh, this is bad. Okay, which one of you two is coming alive? It's you. We're happy. Do we have more? Anybody else care to resurrect? No? Okay. Just checking. Just checking if any of you bitches wanted to resurrect as well. I need to kill all of them for them to get the message. No, it's only some. Why are you? You wake up? <laughs> Sankly Quintessence over there. I'm completely going to forget it is there. Guys, remind me in like half an hour. Hey, Rurikan, remember that saintly quintessence? It's like, right. Nothing over here. Oh, door is closed. So there's actually no progression to be had here. Unless, like, I can jump down the middle. Oh, chest. Empyrean church key seems like that's probably what i needed to open the door even though i didn't realize i needed something to open the door empyrean church key see we have the dark crusaders call i don't know which one i'm missing to give to the preacher i'm missing something that i'm supposed to give to the preacher and i don't know what it is Just like I thought, invisible wall. I wonder if you can jump down there. The fuck is this? It's like I knew. It's like I knew it was expecting me. Oh, look, another one.
last fight. Goddamn latency. Back to laser, ladies. The flowers look cooler in Umbral. Hey, Skaven. Does the Huntress attack me if I just hang here? Ladder to my right that you meant upstairs. Check upstairs real quick. Mm. I have to be a number. Are you trolling me, Chris Palmer? You gotta be trolling me.
trying to talk on the phone while they're trying to focus on the game. Oh. I gotta do something real quick. Apparently somebody's coming to the warehouse to drop off some stuff. I need to open the gate, so I'm be right back like two minutes.
Okay, I am the back. Let me just make sure that I have a camera set up to watch when these people come into the warehouse so that I can go close shit up when they leave. Uh, do, do, do. <sighs> Main gate. This yes, perfect. Multitasking to the max. You're dealing drugs out of this warehouse? Shh. Listen, Mr. Tummy Giggles. Snitches get stitches. That's all you need to know. Okay? Snitches get stitches. Actually, no, dude. In my organization, snitches don't even get stitches. They just get fucking killed. There ain't no stitching up what happens to them. What in the fuck? Abbas's staff? Oh, I never even got to see that. Oh, I'm in jail now? No, oh, we never even got to see that when we fought her. You guys remember that boss fight? I hate that these things go through walls, dude. That's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that these things go through walls. What are we hiding here? Umbral Live of Doln. Doln. Okay, it looks like we're good here. I 
don't really see anything else of importance. Out the Vumbral, I say. It's not this one, it's this one. It's this one. Okay, we happy? We happy. I'm guessing boss fight. I mean, come on. Big boss fight, right? Oh my god. How many of these masks are going to animate and come to life? I mean, I know one of these ones is. Yep, these two. Large Derelium Shards. Oh, because there's a shield here. Lucent Sword Shield. Oh, we also got this one earlier. Uh, shield of the Moonlit Emissary. Wait, let me actually see if we can get to the description of these bad boys. Metal Shield designed in honor of Menacilda. A god typically associated with the moon. Is this a light shield? No, medium shield. Although based in this in Belusia, the peaceful Menacilda worshipping religious order named Crescent Host sent a representative to Mornstead to present the cleric with this shield as a token of friendship. Despite their differing beliefs, a gift the cleric graciously accepted. Lucent sword shield, medium shields. Oh, this is like one of the best medium shields. 61% physical, that's pretty good. Like several other military orders sponsored by the Church of Orion Radiance, the Order of the Lucent Sword participated in the Purge of the Anchorites, the Church's long and costly campaign against a legendary society of assassins. Is this like a reference to Templars? Assassins and Templars? It's not open from this side. So not a boss fight then. Oh. But I expected a boss fight. Oh, we can't actually get there. Okay, well, I don't want to have to go through that nonsense again, so... Did I not pick up my vigor? Did I pick up my vigor or no? I kind of feel like I didn't. Considering the amount of souls that I have right now. I mean, I had to have picked up my vigor. I guess I just didn't have that much. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big beefy boss fight right there. Uh, and after the boss fight, you get to go that way, which will lead you to the other place that I wanted to go down to. Okay, fair enough. In that case, rest. 
By the way, team, if you guys are enjoying this live stream, do remember you can hit the like button. It really helps us out. And you can also subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever we're live, whenever we got videos coming, and all that good stuff. Now then. Let's go. Here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. Aberrant child. You will know peace. Are you the judge cleric? She's got a standard. Look at her go. Good for you, judge cleric. Look at you, your true form revealed. <laughs> I will incinerate your soul with holy fire for this profanation. You're looking a lot like a Rogar lady. That's so. Oh, wow. That was pretty impressive, lady. Done? It's my turn? Okay. Go on, splatter special effects all over my screen that make my frame rate go to shit. I beat her sexy filter off? Yeah, I did. It's like, I can't react when the frame rate gets unstable. Like, I press the dodge button, game's like, no. Nah. No. Nah. That's fine. Where are my souls? Lady, what'd you do with my souls? Okay. Listen, I want my souls back. Did you hear me? I want my souls back. I'll take my souls now. Oh, there we are. Lady, I'm trying to get my souls. Fucking hell. Chill out. interesting thing is that you guys think my hammer is overpowered? You should see Wada's spells. Like, if you guys were to watch Wada Nagashik's play with his umbral build, he just splooges on the screen and everything dies. Like, this hammer is not that powerful, trust me. Because I still have to actually hit the bosses. Like, I'm not joking, guys. Like, Wada will go into a room full of enemies, I'll just throw out these little umbral orbs and everything was like <laughs> Same thing for bosses. He goes up to a boss like three orbs like <laughs> Boss disappears. So trust me, this is not that overpowered. Anyway, uh, 31,000 souls. That's nice. I'll take this item too. Thorned Chalice. Boop, 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 boop.
By the way, Rui, if you want to use the weapon special move... Yeah, I know, Bear Knight. I know. The thing is, it's not worth it for me to use that special move with my current weapon. And not even just my current weapon, but my current build, period. This whole build is about tanking hits to the face and murdering what's on the receiving end of the hit. Bip, 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 bip. Enhanced Holy Grenade. Is that it? Really? All this for an Enhanced Holy Grenade? I am disappointed. I am disappointed. Is there nothing else here? Like, for reals? Okay, so I want to see if I can actually do anything with the Sacred Chalice, but I doubt it. Because I probably missed some crucial step in Homeboy's quest and I've never been able to find it again. And I'm never going to find whatever step I missed in his quest because I've been through the game twice at this point and I've missed that item twice. So I'm never going to find it. I'm going to look it up after this playthrough because I'm never going to find whatever the fuck it is. Um, let's see. Anything I can give you? That's when I was a girl. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, you got some more? I wish I could say this. Okay. If Huracan plays the normal way with a spear, if it's like a spear suck in this game, dude. Like, listen, using a spear in this game is like shooting yourself in the foot and then trying to run a marathon. Okay? That's what I would say to people that would try to use spears in this game. I think spears fucking this blow. Land is too yeah, see, also, I can't. They are already I can't do it. There's nothing I can do. I, like, I'm pretty sure that this chalice is supposed to come to this guy. It's just, I don't know what fucked up item I'm missing for to unlock something in his quest line. Few of the oldest recorded sources considering the jurors against the deer, Book of Justice, Serenius of the Crayer, Judge Clare to be a male falsehood, which gradually faded into time due to her ongoing prominence. Yeah, there's nothing. Like, this quest I can't do, this quest I can't do, this quest I can't do anymore. This quest, I don't even know what it does. Like, poof, everything's gone. Everything's gone. Anyway, uh, let's go. Warp to my seed. I do have 31,000. I should probably level up before I do anything else. Upgrade character. Give me all that vitality. <clears throat> and I've been thinking I need some something else to put on here. Physical damage, physical defense, reduce mana cost of shot sorceries, buff sorceries, dodging, five slots, additional damage, smaller equip low, umbral sorceries, wither damage. I'm actually considering this one. This one'd be so good. It's like, yep, we just deal more damage, but we ain't got no life. I don't think we can deal with that. I'm gonna keep the holy thing. Too much of a hassle. Who's this? Oh, you were the one we were fighting just now. What are you doing here? Are you okay? I don't think you're feeling very good, are you? Okay, you're not looking too hot. Make your cups, Ermengarde.
Remembrance of Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel. Okay, well, here's what I think about all that. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. Which is interesting, because Cowboy told me that when this happened, he had no idea where that was. But I'm pretty sure I know where that is. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, we are normal. Take me in the boss room. I already did it. Yeah, that's that's where I was gonna go, Chris Palmer. Upper call wrath. Uh, the Abbey is the only hope. It pains me to see it now. At sisters who roam, but I take comfort in knowing that salvation is finally except those who instigated this. Okay, whatever you say, whatever you say, lasse. And that's crazy. Offer a remembrance. Judge Cleric's Radiant Sword. This is an agility radiance weapon. One of the very few ones, I might add. Another agility radiance weapon. Judge Cleric's Spear. Oh, it's a spear! A spear! Bruh. Get the fuck out of here. And then the Corrupted Sword. Okay. Also deals all kinds of damage except Wither. Judge Cleric's Gauntlets. Judge Cleric's Armor. I like this one, though. I think this one will look badass on me. What the fuck is this? Corrupted Banner Javelin. Inflicts physical damage and fire damage. Okay. Briar Storm. Summer summons a number of lacerating briar thorns. Okay, so there's actually quite a few things. Pyroclastic Stone? A bouncing igneous rocks that explodes upon each impact. This looks fun as hell. It probably sucks. Unfortunately, that's usually the way that it goes. Corrupted Cleric's armor. Is this one heavier? No, it's the same weight. No, this one's actually lighter. I would like to have this chest piece and these legs. The problem is I think that this is probably too light for me, right? Because I want something big and beefy and heavy. Like, this one's 39.5, bro. Why would I buy that? Why would I buy that? This is some Garbo, dude. Some Garbo you got going here. I don't want your garbage. I'll take this, though. And then this is a headpiece, I would imagine. Yep. I don't want your crappy weapon, either. You can keep it. Ya can keep it, lasse. I'm not interested. Can you not talk in caps lock? Chill, bro. Sword is super OP. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay? Look at this. 
How is this thing going to be super OP, dude? Okay, look at it. Look, it's pathetic. It's a long sword. Psh. Super OP. Bro, my hammer beats the shit out of that sword. You understand? You understand? Give a damn about no sword. Now then. <clears throat> As I was saying. Do 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 do. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the spell. What? Bro, is this spell even working? <laughs> I guess you have to keep it pressed. Yeah. Oh, and then it just keeps dealing damage. I doubt that's worth it. I highly doubt that's worth it, but... Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Now then, you got anything else to say? The Abbey is the only it pains okay. my sister, but I take except those. How about you? You have anything else to say? Home slice? You got nothing left to say? This land is to offer you. Also, oh my god. What is the I oh my god, I'm pissed off now. That item has to be like hidden away in some random bullshit location that I'm never gonna find in my whole life. That pisses me off. But, you know, it is what it is. It's for a second playthrough. Now then, uh, warp two. I just want to check out something. Nobody here. Nobody here. Yep, all of our quest lines are broken. Just like I like it. So, let's move on to... should be... Kalrath. How you doing, brother? You be on your way, Lambera. Go what till the day I can fight this, is where I... The door is closed again. An umbral entity prevents your progress. You're not gonna make me go downstairs for this bullshit, are you? Really, bro? Really? So we have to go in reverse. Gotcha. Gotcha! Having a is no small. Yeah, I can imagine there's probably going to be something happening along the way. Bear Knight, I'm not saying that it's broken as in it's not working properly. I'm saying, like, I broke the quest chains by not doing them. Not sure if people all misunderstood me by saying, Oh, quests are broken, they're not working. I said, all of my quest chains are broken. That means that I, in my playthrough, broke the quest chains. It's not a problem with the game. It's something that I did. 
Okay, home slice is over there still. Oh, that's a new item. No, actually, no, it's not. Could have picked that up. Pick it up. What? How did you even deal damage to me, brother? How did that happen? Wait. Uh, let's swap back to this. Although, this is also not going to work. I actually use the ovals. Moth ring? I don't remember picking that up. In my other character. What does the moth ring do? Gain additional vigor. Oh, nice. It's like a... Silver souls ring. Not a big fan of doing this level in reverse. It's a little bit annoying. I think I know what's going to happen. The Light Reaper is going to be where the Ruiner was before. That has to be it. As you can see, honor. The Light Reaper is going to be right here. 100% guaranteed. As you can see, <laughs> I'm a man of my work. So predictable. So predictable. That was very predictable. Come on. God damn it. I only hit you once. I hit him once and he's like, oh, better get my dragon. I better get my dragon. He hit me once. Oh, no. Get 
the fuck out of here. Okay, you know what? I don't even care about your fucking parasite. Fuck you. And fuck your dumb parasite, okay? God damn it. Dude, this frame rate. The frame rate dicking you over, dude. I'd have one shot it if it wasn't for the fucking frame rate. Like, look at this. I'm gonna restart the game. Fuck. Look at this, the game's dying for me to exit the main menu. I don't know what the patch did today, but it doesn't look good. I feel like the game is running worse than it did in the last couple of streams. No, I don't want to know how to get rid of his parasite. Oh my god, the game is updating. <laughs> Midstream, dude. <laughs> it updated when I woke up. It updated again. <laughs> this game's looking like an NVIDIA driver. I'm surprised you tolerate all of these technical issues. It's because I'm really liking the game. In a way, I almost wish I didn't. I almost wish I didn't like it so that I could just be like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this anymore, but god damn, dude. Let's see if we get some performance improvements. Do you have the same issues on PS5? I mean, frame, the frame drops on PS5 are actually worse, but that, the game doesn't crash. What do you mean, not you? Uh, Crossplay is actually turned off right now, Sanryu. I know it's probably still on their website, but it's not turned on right now as far as I'm aware. Yes, and then Stoic. I heard it, it took him like 10 hours or something of rebooting the game. I mean, I don't have insane frame drops. If you don't really notice them on PS5. On PS5. The game does have co-op. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. You need to get your eyes checked, dude. There are some beastly frame drops on PS5. Not just frame drops, but frame drops accompanied by very aggressive uh, dynamic resolution kicking in.
Okay, see if there's seed beds ahead of that fight. bed right here. Is there another one? I guess this one's probably going to be the closest one. Yeah, that one's the closest one. These mud. Goddamn mess up there. Huh? Okay, tell you what. Light Reaper fight actually reminds me a little bit of the Crow fight with the mandatory interruptions. He starts with a parasite. Oh no, he hit me. I need to get my dragon. Uh oh. Seems like his parasite's underneath that great thing there. And there's an umbral entity blocking it. Damn it. Still can't dodge that goddamn thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Better to burn out than to fade away, bitch! Don't care. Still alive. So, oh man, it's all the way over here? Really, bro? That is dirty. That is dirty. Dude, I swear Zodic just loves to scream. He gets really excited. Bro, it's cool that you're excited. Chill. Let's grab this. Should I? No, not yet. I wanna... So, the Umbral Entity was just preventing us from getting this then? I guess. It's probably here. I guess it's not here anymore. Haha! <laughs> Got him. Ah, uh, what was the thing that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, we... Turn back. Oh. Really? And now I understand why you were here. I get it now. I understand what your story is. Not that I care. Now I understand. need to understand though but I don't give a fuck okay Andreas you pig ignorant little wretch who do you think you are pig ignorant little wretch that's what he called me pig ignorant little wretch why would you say something so insulting oh you guys want to know something really cool like yesterday uh, when I was playing with Wada, I gave the final rune tablet to Sparky to see what happens. Bro! Friggin' Gerlinda goes off! She just goes off the chain. She's just like, you little shit! Like, I'm not even exaggerating. She literally says that. She turns to her character and goes like, you little shit! And then it's like, if you talk to her, she's like, if you're not here to buy something, fuck off! Like, actually the way that I'm saying it, dude. I was like, what? <laughs> it was awesome. She gets real mad. <laughs> oh. When I kiss... Your lips, and there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it, baby. But, baby, baby, I know it's you lost that love and feeling. Whoa, that love. Oops. Not enough to do. You lost that love and feeling. Now it's gone. 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 Wait, there's a vestige back there? Of Mr. Andreas? No, not the jizz. They got me with the jizz. Ooh. There's no vestige here.
this one? I already got this one. Oh, where Byron is? Okay. Well, I was gonna get it. You guys knew that. Beedy 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 Batman! <laughs> give me this. Give me this. Give it, give it, give it. Stop jizzing on me. Jesus. Biden. Listen, maybe the little monster had it coming, all right? You be on your way till the day. I maybe the little monster had it coming. Now, let's go over to Skyrest and see what's going on. Okay, we got 100 likes, team. Thank you very much for 100 likes. Ada, ada. There you go. Remember, the ada ada gets sexier the more likes we get. So feel free to hit the like button. Now then. Uh. No, wait, I don't have to. I just want to talk to NPCs. Talk to the PCs. Got anything to say? Of course you don't. This mm. land is overflowing with sin to offer you also say they are already conflict. So you got nothing. You got nothing. Your shit's still broken. Be that way. You're an asshole. And nobody likes you. get any new runes? I don't think so. I might just do this instead. Yeah, there's nothing. I should have swapped this a while ago, considering the way that I've been using the weapon. Uh, this is strength scaling. Fire damage. Aha! This is what I've been looking for. Increases the rate of smite buildup. See, I want that. I don't even know if I want radiant scaling. I'd rather have that. Smite buildup. And then in here, I might double up on damage while two-handing. I don't even know if these stack. Like, how much am I even getting from scaling? 
197 on holy. I bet it's not even that much. Unfortunately, I, th I assume it's still not doing the proper calculations, right? Because we got 197. So what if I was to socket something in? That will increase holy scaling. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, this is the, I don't think that's worth it. I think I'd be better off getting something else. So we got smite build up. I might even go for two two-handed damage. I don't care. We could also just do increases holy da uh, holy damage twice. Or we could do increased rate of holy damage as well as... Uh, I can just get both of these, it's whatever. I'm gonna go two of these, two Gravixes. I don't think it matters, it's whatever. <laughs> Oh, it increases, it just doesn't show it, so we can't really make proper calculations. Now we can have access to the light bearer, but it doesn't really matter because it doesn't have anything we want. Ah, see, this was the spear that I wanted to get. Agility and Radiance. There we go. Sure, this is fantastic. No. Doesn't even deal holy damage. How is it scaling with radiance? Without holy damage. How does that make any sense? Ponke. It's ponke. Do you sell new things? Of the lamp. Like you, I you don't. Until her embrace. Until her embrace. So there's actually nothing for me to spend my points on. Okay, in that case, let's go all the way. Pop, 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 pump it up. No, the Reaper is not the last boss. But I'm definitely not feeling this holy damage thing. I wanted to have something else on here, but I don't know what I will, what I would do. Maybe I'll just do physical damage and physical defense. Warrior's Claw. I oh, fuck it. Just more damage. More dots. Let's go. I already beat the Wayfair. <clears throat> Visited all areas of the game.
That's one hell of a welcoming party. So this is another shortcut, so we've already seen two shortcuts. That was pretty dirty. So this one's not a shortcut. This one's just to bully the players. Oh damn, it's really nice if you happen to fall down here. All in number. Gee, thanks. Yeah, I'm feeling the, the stutter, like, really bad. Looks like this area is barely going to be playable. You can't jump this at all. Oh, there's another one here. See you later, Bear Knight. Agility, a quality weapon. Okay.
Oh! See, I killed her already in my other game. This is tough. She almost got a move in. No, she's gone. And that was hard, dude. I thought we weren't going to make it. wouldn't happen to have a vestige here now, would you? Oh, this was a one-way thing? There's not even a seed bed or anything? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go into Humble. And we're gonna do whatever the hell this is. Nice. Oh, no. Well, I hate this. Like, I just want to steal that item, and the game is like, no, no, I'm going to cycle through everything except what you want. Okay. Be that way. Jesus. <sighs> Realize we fall, man. Lock-on struggle is real right now. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do to you. I have this one, this one, this one, and that's it. Wait, why is it not attacking him anymore? That's strange. Anyway, you have like 47 of these, so. That was great. That was that was good job. Good job. What's the matter? You can't reach me? Oh no. I have more than one of these at once. Doesn't work. So we're actually gonna have to go up there. He's camping the goddamn ladder. Kindly, can you fuck off the ladder? Kindly. All right. There, now we can talk. Gentlemen, with all the kindness in the world, fuck off. Okay? 
All the kindness in the world. Give me my quintessence, okay? Uh, doesn't look like there's a path this way. So, we can actually peace out. Don't move! Bye-bye! Let's hope we get a checkpoint soon after this. Ramus Castle Barbican. Barbican? Really? We're at Barbie's Castle. Ha! Huh. door does open and we can progress this way which is through the fire and the flames then this is where we came from there's no other path huh there be no other path lave very well Okay, now that we have this, let's go for more boop. Bong! Oh my god. Oh shit. I see it. And I don't like it. Oh, that looked like an archer, but it's not. Really, bro? That was funny. <laughs> I 
Okay. Jesus, Trap City, huh? What the? I was casting a spell. There's no crossing point. I guess not. This almost looks crossable, but not quite. <clears throat> Damn it, no. That spell's awesome. That might be one of the best spells that I've used so far. And again, I haven't really used many uh, humble spells. Well, by many, I should say any. I've mostly cast Radiant and Inferno. And the interesting thing to me was that I, I thought, hmm, Umbral's probably going to be a little bit weirder. To cast, you know, to, to work for because it, it requires two stats. It's probably going to be behind some super duper secret quest line that's going to be super obscure. And at the end of the day, Inferno really has it the worst. Inferno, by far, has it the worst. Trust me. I know this. I mean, if you're going in blind, maybe if you already know the quest line, maybe it's not that bad. But if you're going in blind, Inferno has it the worst by far. Enhanced Rogar Oil Flask.
that a fat parasite or something? It took like 10 years to something. For real, bro? You're gonna disrespect me like that. Okay. No, it's cool. It's cool. I won't take it personal. I won't murder you and your dog and your whole goddamn family for... Just getting really tired of these fucking crap. Just waiting for the one that's gonna corrupt my save, put me out of my misery. Time to clean up the umbral.
take care of that. This opens here. <clears throat> I don't think there's a reason to go. There's still one missing. a classic. Everybody loves a classic. Uh, I guess I can circle here. Infernal Slash. That's where we came from, right? No, it's not, but it's probably where we're going because I don't see anywhere else to go. Oh, it's my vestige. Beautiful. Miss and Jamal, thank you very much for making five people grossly incandescent. Tip of the hat, and that's one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. How are you already, so P? I mean, I've been playing for like, it feels like a hundred hours. So Even though it's not been a hundred hours, it's probably closer to like 80. So yeah, it would make sense. If only uh, I let's go could for be strength. So grossly incandescent. Okay. This was a really good spot to put in a seed seed bed. Okay, so now we're supposed to keep going this way. guys. Oh, I didn't rest. I thought I had rested. Up, I forgot to rest. here, bro. I 
That's an elevator. Oh, I was wondering if I could do something here, but... Guess not. There is a door here, though. No, it does not open from this side. Oh, this goes down. Thought it was going to go up. Hey, but guess what? This is one of the few elevators you can send back up. One of the very few elevators you can send back up. That's really cool. Because that means I don't really need a seat bed here. I can just run past homeboy. Actually, no, because that elevator's... That elevator's slow as balls, dude. Actually, just put a seat bed here. I don't care. The game gives you so many seat beds anyways. Who gives a fuck? Bastard. Bargain bin at the sto dollar store motherfucker, dude. Taking care of business. Stop. Humble time. Oh, I win. Soothes him having you near, and I know how exhausted you are. This sickness. Can wait. The situation with those fanatics is precarious, and every day it seems the knife's edge on which mourns their breasts becomes thinner. I won't allow my weakness to be the ruination of my kingdom. It's not weakness, Bramus. You know that. King Bramus. Please. Not now. Let us just. Enjoy the moment. You miss a secret boss under the elevator? There's a golden hammer after you kill it. Under the elevator? Under the elevator? That sounds like some sussy baka. Some sussy baka shit, dude. There's way too many of these dudes that are under the ground and you don't get to see them. There's too many of them. These flamey boys? There's too many of them. I'll say that.
skin stealer helm. Okay, so that thing's all the way over there. Damn, that's crazy. Seriously? So that's a lot of enemies that we got to kill to get back there. Too many. Which is going to be really bad. Get ready. Open this door just out of curiosity. Well, entity prevents her progress. Okay. That's crazy. Very good, thank you very much. The Arnax. Okay. Shortcut. Is this elevator room? Yes. This is elevator. So we can now skip that. Grinning axe. Always like a good grin. Inferno B. Fire and wither. It's got fire, wither, burning, and, and, ignite. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Give me a second. I need to check up on the warehouse, on the people in the warehouse. I'm back. No, I still like Elden Ring more than this. But I also like this.
Uh, what was that I want to do? Oh yeah, we'll send the elevator down. Although to be honest, this shortcut ain't all that great. Problem solved. Try to get this game or lies of P. I can't decide. Brown tissue? The way to make that decision is... This is a very accurate analysis. If you like... Bloodborne and Sekiro more than Demon Souls and Dark Souls, get Lies of P. If you like Demon Souls and Dark Souls more than Bloodborne and Sekiro, get Lords of the Fall. So long as your system can handle it. The game still has a lot of, uh, still has a lot of, uh, performance issues and whatnot. That was a dog. I was just blending in and I can't see shit. Lord Axe. Infernal. Basic Inferno Axe. See, now I'm starting to get it. A lot of the Inferno stuff is like backloaded. A lot of the Inferno stuff is giga backloaded. Was that? What is that? Why is it shooting at me? Bro, oh, that is giga cheap. What is this, Lords of Cheapness? Okay, bro. What in the hell just happened? Wall. 
Confluent Seer Staff, Confluent Seer st Whatever. Bowser's. Okay. I need a fucking get out of Umbral free card, bro. Okay? I just need to get the fuck out of Umbral right now. I need to get out of Umbral yesterday, my guy. Bro, where's my get out of Umbral? Bro! Get out of Umbral! Well, there's this. This works too. How was he still alive? Holy bloated HP, Batman! Explosive bolts. There's gotta be a thing to exit Umble. That's a mimic on top of all things. Who else? Is this where I think it is? Surprised Red Boy hasn't shown up yet. Another mimic. Bro, this place is crawling with mimics. That one's not a. Ring of Infernal Devotion. Here it is. A vestige. Wasn't this one a mimic? There you are. Been looking all over. Today we hash out our differences, my friend. Went full health. Cheater. Uh. 
Why can I not turn? Why is he full health again? Glitching balls out of his mind, I see. said it like five times that little bastard reset his health pool five times give or take how's that about anyway I guess we go this way now. I saw a ruiner in here. Yep, there he is. And then there's like a zillion of these dudes. I don't like the fact that you can't even see them coming out of the ground. You just literally can't see it. No, you can see them coming out of the ground. You can't see where they are ahead of time. Burn salts, ignite salts. Not really a whole lot here. Paladin's pendant. Strength and endurance. Look, another one. Can't cross this, so we have to go from the other side. Am I going the right way? Oh, we have to go this way. This way. <laughs> Picked up this item. Function wise, what is a cape for in real life? Keep you warm. Did you really survive with like no help? I can't believe the magic pixel again. Magic pixel guy. Isn't this where I put down my thing? I think it is. Right, so if I go up here, should be a seed bed. Yeah. Oh, there's more to explore here. Oh, wow. Map of Bramus Castle. 
Oh, 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 oh. Let us hurry, Your Majesty. I can take you beyond the castle walls, but then I'm afraid I must return. Too long and my absence will be noted. You've already done more for Edivar and I than I can ever hope to repay, Fitzroy. Thank you. You and the Prince are not away yet, and I could not stand idle like so many others and allow the King to carry out such a heinous act. My husband is not the man he once was, but he will not take my son. So there's two paths to take, there's one that clearly goes inside, and then there's this one on the outside, so we'll do the outside one first. Tells me this is gonna be a shortcut. Right, the door is gonna be locked. Yep. Look at this motherfucker. So, since we don't have that shortcut yet, we gotta go inside. Gonna rest before that. You feeling okay, Ryo? I'm good. There's also a ladder here, which at some point is going to be a shortcut, and this is a one-way drop. Oh, this is the place that we were just at. Viscerating spear. Would this be a good spear weapon? Is this the one? <clears throat> Bleeding, Agility, and Inferno. No, this is not the one. Although this is probably the closest you can get to a gun lance. Oh god, no. We're not going back to that life. We are not going back to that life, my Why can I not go this way?
guess there's like some vision nerves there. Uh, we can go up the stairs. Look like we can go downstairs. It's closed off. Could there be anything here? Oh. No. Which case I vote this way. This looks like it goes to the other side, though. Oh my god. This staircase goes places. Save that one for last. Mr. Ruiner. Oh, chest. Large deralium shards. Bro, there's a chest in there. It's got the deralium shards. Oh, you were supposed to be guarding it? That's too bad, bro. That's terrible. That's terrible, bro. Bro, You're gonna do me like that? Let me tell you what happens when you try that. God damn. You probably think you're real smart, don't you? got any more of these guys in here? I don't think there's enough of them. What the hell? Where the hell did he come from? Smoldering ring. By the way, I've picked up like two rings already that I haven't seen. I need to go see those rings. But they look pretty friggin' important. Rogar Heart. I think that's like the best catalyst for Inferno. I mean, look at that. The best catalyst for Inferno is in the last level of the game. I feel like your last level of the game is where you have your build and you're ready to just have a blast. You know what I mean? Like, I think that should be the standard. By the time you get to the last area, there's no more upgrades. There's just you and your build and you're ready to rock. And you're gonna be like, oh no, the, actually you get your best catalyst on the last zone. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Not like that affects me for my build. For my second build, it does. You know? Am I the only one there? see platforms up there. What else do we have here? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I can use this. Oh, the ladder probably wasn't in a proper position yet. Uh, stairs. Really? Really? Fuck! Okay, you know what? Eat this then. That's yeah, crazy. There you go. Royal key. So this is probably going to be the last room we'll visit, maybe? Definitely stuff down there. This should be the one on the outside that we came from, right? No. Oh, this is the gate. Okay. Red boy. I'm not sure I want to fight you. You cheat. You cheat so often, bro. I'm not interested anymore. Big fat cheater. Okay, come on, let's fight. Let's try this again. Not gonna reset your health this time. That's what you get. Wonder how long it takes him to respawn. RIP! 
Upgrades late are fine as long as they aren't build defining. That is, uh, according to Cowboy's calculations, the best catalyst for Inferno. The Rogar heart that I picked up. I'd say that's pretty build defining. Especially because you have to upgrade that shit to plus 10 in order to get the work. Yeah, these fire dudes and crossbow guys, screw them. Gagarin, thank you very much for being grossing at this for 61 months. Tip of the hat, appreciate the support. Thank you, damn. 61 months, holy shit. That's a whole lot of time. Now then, we were... Oh no, you're a parasite. Seriously? Oh right, it's the thing in the ground, but I can't see it because it's inside the mountain. Oh, that's crazy. I couldn't see a damn thing that was happening there. The visual clutter was out of this world, dude. No! Son of a bitch. Dude, fuck that place down there. What the fuck? Holy crap, that place down there is an absolute cluster. I'm going to pelt everybody from range. I already lost like God knows how many hit po how many uh, vigor here. So I'm going to pelt everything from range now. 
Good luck getting to me, dude. Or is all glitched out. Yep, good luck. Man, that's crazy. What? Oh my god. Even my spells are broken. Come on. There we go. That's it. Blow everything up into a fine paste. What the hell was that? This one's glitched, it's not gonna happen. again. For real? Is this a sick joke? Gargoyles in here? Bro, the enemy placement in this level is something else. This leads us back 
up here. Okay. Well, now it's explored. The game lagging or the stream? Uh, probably. The game. This way and up the stairs. Almost forgot it. Right? I almost forgot about you. This place is so dirty. I'm happy my build is like busted OP at this point because this place is just dirty. Every dirty trick in the book, we got it. Lord armor to light. We wear heavy armor in this house. Keep going up. I guess royal key. Can't go any further up, right? Yeah. Imagine being here with spears. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, that's a fun time. Eat this, delete this. Looks like I have. God damn it. Looks like we have been here.
Okay, it's the other side of it. Yeah, we've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where this is. God damn it, this is a fucking death. with these jumps this is are you serious are you for real right now I gotta go, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Wait, what the fuck? A ladder is in there. Bro, those dogs still have aggro. And they talk about a dog with a bone. Whoa. Excuse me, boys. That's fine. enjoy that holy spell, okay? I'm going in. Shit. 
Checkpoint! Alright, upgrade. Let's spend some of these hard-earned souls that we lost tons of earlier. Actually, we even can't. That's fine. Our level should be moving at this point. Oh! Boss fight? Boss fight? Holy crap, what is this? Resident Evil 7? See, this is actually a problem that I feel the game has, which is a lot of times because they want to be smart about, oh, we're going to get you to do this thing and then we're going to surprise you with a sneak attack. And I was like, yeah, but now you caused me to miss most of what this umbral scarring was saying. They displayed yesterday is only the latest in a long line of offenses. We all know there will be many more and greater crimes to come. Surely Mornstead has suffered long enough in their shadow. The fate of Mornstead and every single soul within it is mine to decide. Fate in my hands. You would do well to remember that. It's Roy. Yes, your majesty. I think the sound was not properly done in this one because the king's sound was supposed to come from here. Shield of the First of Beasts. It's a mimic. Actually, no, it's not. Okay, here we go.
What if I was to tell you that the... Um, you know that thing that he did where he just sh shot flames at me? What if I was to tell you that the Inferno version of that spell doesn't apply burn status? Where you're literally shooting out uh, flames at your opponents, but it doesn't apply burn. You're too fat. You can't get in the door, mate. You'd go on a diet. Blow the tragic. Blow the tragic. Pendant of Infernal Ablation. Okay, let me just let me just see something. Deal additional damage to burning enemies. Yup. Yup. As I expected. So this deals more damage to burning enemies. Now we also got this thing. Inflicting burn buildup simultaneously inflicts ignite buildup. Yup. Yup. Sounds right. Smoldering ring increases resistance to burn. This one's whatever, but like this one's important. Where's uh oh yeah, this ring. Reva strikes deal additional damage. <clears throat> These are build defining items for fire for fire builds, basically. They're build defining items for fire for fire builds. Where does this one go to? Is that not a mimic? Where the fuck am I? Come from here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah I know where I am. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Cornax, they don't even hit that hard when compared to like Umbral spells. Umbral spells hit hard. supposed to fall down there? Because I don't see any other way.
My spells aren't working properly. Try this one. Okay. Another one. Another one. Grace of a deer mask and grace of a deer loincloth. Oh, a shortcut. I'm not sure why this shortcut would matter, considering there's no exit here. Oh, there's yet another item. Race of a deer scalp. I feel like I've reached the dead end. Did you beat all the main story bosses today? No, I don't think so. I haven't seen credits yet. So I would assume no. you guys oh you fell oh no it's too bad damn Also a ladder on this one? No, this one is just the chests.
Okay, so you're not supposed to fall here. Not supposed to go that way, not supposed to go that way. I don't get it. Cross over. Can't cross over here. Can't go this way. You can't even cross this. Oh, God. What the fuck? That was weird. I can't go this way. I have to go all the way. God damn it. Stop it with the spamorama. Oh, there's platforms there. Oh! There's a lot there. can't target it from here. Oh, it's right there. Why can't I target it? Probably have to go to the bridge. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I forget that this is like 
absolute nastiness the level. Yeah, I think they went overboard with this one. I'm gonna go on record. They went way overboard with this level. They went overboard on this castle. Jesus Christ. So this thing's a dead end. I need to move this thing. I've already lost like a hundred thousand vigor in here. The volcano part didn't bother me that much, but this part is just... Jesus Christ. You guys were like, well, we're at the end of the game. Time to, you know, make you rage quit. Like, what, what was the purpose? I don't get it. Wait, what the fuck? Oh right, cause I came off the other side. Dude, please. No, guess not. Guess not. Hey, come over here. Listen, I will kill everything from here until I can lock on to what I want, okay? That's fine. There we go. We good? Can I lock on to that now? No? Still can't lock on to it. Okay, turns out you can't even lock on to it from here. Okay, so now we got to go to the other side. Now you move this one. Okay. Move this one. Now you move 
this there okay oh that one moved away well to be honest I don't care what a chad what a chad you have six heals it's more than enough for you to die anyway let's go let's go 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 is there a checkpoint before the boss or not so much? We're not doing that. We're not doing checkpoints today. Hey yo! Yoink! Sight! Oh, there better be a vestige up there, otherwise it's gonna be a long ass run back. Oh, we have a thing there. Probably use that. Bro, I've used all of my same things. Okay, and the ruiner directly up ahead. <clears throat> His hitbox hit me way sooner than it should have. That was some wonky hitboxes right there, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Swaddling cloth. Why would I want to go there? Because you can get behind it. mask. Oh, I guess I live here now. Yep. Not a particularly good shortcut. Oh, 
Oh, there's an item there. You know what, guys? That's fine. Just off. Me. Are you liking the game so far? I like the game a lot, but I'm not enjoying this particular last level. I think the developers got a little bit too excited. Oh, you can just straight up do this too. And then you lose the item. Well, you don't lose the item. We're going to spawn back there anyway. like a shortcut here. No! <laughs> this level is gonna be the death of me, dude. This level is going to be the death of me. I've gotten to that point where I'm just like, I'm just done with this level. I've, I've been done with this level like 10 minutes ago. I've been done with this level 5 minutes ago. T did I say 10 minutes? Maybe 20 minutes ago. I could say, I could tell you so many things, and not a single one of them is nice. Not a single one of them is nice for doing that. This is just some hardcore trolling at this point, dude. This is just some hardcore trolling. Wait, he actually hit me? He did. There is an item down there, though. That's probably some more fire salts. This is just some hardcore trolling.
Bartholomew's hammer? That sounds interesting. It's a regular hammer. Pretty crappy. Looks nice though. It's a nice looking hammer. This is a very dwarven looking hammer. Actually, I like it a lot. But it wouldn't work for my build. The bonkinator. Ah, the final troll. This almost looks like an arena. Whoa. That's an arena. What's this? This is where we came from, right? Oh, there's a seed bed here. Got a seed bed there. That boss, probably smart. My last seed bed, too. Now let's go get the other place. To me, it's more important that they actually have cool-looking hammers. Like, no joke, very few Souls-like games have cool hammers. Like, very few of them have, like, actually cool, legitimately nice-looking hammers. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, it's here. We already put our seat bed elsewhere. Wait. I've been here already. I even have like a ladder shortcut here, don't I? I don't understand. I've been here. Oh, this was covered in crystal and I killed the dude and the crystal broke and blah, 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 blah. Bob's your uncle. That's fine. Does he have his head up his ass, or what the fuck was that?
Yes, I respect to use this hammer. A rock. That's your transformation? Oh, that's a pretty good rock. That's crazy. What's back here? You actually hiding anything? Oh! So you can interact with something here. Or you can interact with something down there, I would imagine. Oh no, you actually can't interact with anything here. Why is my lamp reacting then? I guess this is just the throne. I don't understand why my lamp... Oh, because of this. So there's nothing here. So now we interact with this. I assume is a deer. 
I cleanse your ass. I look upon you with pity, my lost child. For you have been deceived and enslaved by forces who regard you as nothing more than an instrument through which they might enact their blasphemous will and prevent my rightful return. They speak of light while offering you nothing but blindness. Weak hypocrites relying on the malignant power of Umbral. With one breath, then decrying it with another. They brand me evil, a tyrant, and yet I offer you something they will not. A choice. Reject the fanatical crusaders and the deranged servants of the self-proclaimed judge. Dismiss all of their false dogma and the torturous mission to which they have bound you. And only then will you know freedom. And if you would hear it, the truth. Enter the Rogar realm. Zotic, why do you have to spoil stuff, dude? Back to back boss fights. Into believing a truth. 
Fuck are they? This is not despair, I just think that that fight is boring as fuck. Like, you're just running around killing dudes and then dodging before they explode? Like, that's it? That's it?
Like, I hated the Hollow Crow fight because I thought it was boring as shit. This is about on par with that. Actually, I think it might be worse. Where is my souls? Because I had a fuck ton of souls, too. Why do you refuse to open your eyes to their manipulations? To millennia of shameful distortions of the truth. For eons, I stood as mankind's guardian, shepherding them with wisdom and love. Yet in return, I was betrayed. Those three powerful malefactors who declared themselves judges turned my own children against me and waged a terrible war of needless slaughter. God damn it. The judges and their crazed friends which of those who they drawn to me. And when I created the Rokar, as a means to put an end to the madness. They too were no match for the evil forces. In the end, even I fell. Although the judges found themselves unable to kill a god, despite their best efforts. In a world God damn it. Judges vanished me from this barren realm, which has served as my prison ever since. Really? Am I really missing just like a, an inch of damage? ...from the divine oppression of which they accused me. And yet, how long time passed before the judges themselves were raised to the status of demigods? To worship their real ambition all too clear. Yet an outcome, the people deluded themselves into believing the triumph. How much blood has been spilled in their names since my banishment? Far more than was ever spilled in my name. This boss is such a shitter, dude. Of their presence, and yet here I stand before you with true words and open arms. For I love all of my children, even the wayward ones. Listen. I look upon you with pity, my lost child, for you have been deceived and enslaved by forces who regard you as nothing more than an instrument through which they might enact their blasphemous will and prevent my rightful return. Hey, can I kill you now?
The light of the umbral lamp knows no satiation, consuming even a god. Aureus's will be done by his heresy-tainted champion, rewarded only with annihilation. With renewed influence, Aureus unleashes his radiance to purify those deemed transgressors. In light, they fall. Look, I enjoyed what I've played of it, but goddamn, that ending, that ain't it, dude. <laughs> that ain't it. What the hell? <laughs> dude, it was, it was like, oh yeah, here's the ending. It's like these four PowerPoint slides. There you go. It's like, again, I really enjoyed the game. I think the game is a ton of fun. It's got a lot of technical problems. It's got a lot of performance issues. But I think the game is a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I think it's cool. I don't know about New Game Plus, because, you know, the whole thing about no vestiges does not sound fun at all. But, um, you know, it was all right. Dead Rock, yeah, I still think it's worth a play so long as your system can handle it. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, the ending felt lackluster, and the, the last level also feels like, the last level felt like they were, they were trying too hard to just be evil, <clears throat> you know? They were trying too hard with like, oh, I'm gonna put this enemy here and this enemy here just to dick you over over there, and put this thing here and that thing there. I felt like, you know, that, that ending level, the other levels I was all right, for most of it. I didn't really have a huge problem with any of them, I don't think. But that last one felt like a bit much. <sighs> Remember how in Dark Souls the final level was one big arena with five black knights and one boss? Yeah. But guess what? You can kill Dark Knights really fucking easy. Dark Knights are not that big a deal. What's next on your playthrough schedule? I don't know. I want to chill, dude. I want to chill. There's one more optional boss in the Path of Devotion you can fight if you remember that door in Umbral. Path of Devotion? What the hell's Path of Devotion? <clears throat> yeah, this was the Radiant ending. I 
I figured that the last boss would be like in the in the mother's embrace or mother's lull or whatever it's called. What rank would you give this game? I don't rank games. I like the game. I recommend the game if uh, your system can play it. That's the only thing. It's like, let's put it like this. You take the technical issues and performance of the game away. Super easy recommendation. Wait, Netties? I'm disappointed, bro. I don't like Netties. <laughs> I did Paladin's Burden. No criticism for the game at all. Um, let's see. It's like, look, my biggest criticism of the game is performance and latency issues and technical issues. Those are like my biggest criticism. There's a lot of problems on the technical side of things because when I look at the visuals, I think the game looks all right. I actually no, I can criticize the. Vi let me let me lower the volume a little bit, and I can um I can explain more. I can criticize the visuals a little bit and that I feel that the team went too far with particle effects. I feel like the team kept founding like new new playthings in Unreal Engine 5. They're like, oh, I found this new particle effect. Put it in. I found another one. Put it in. And another one. Put it in. Because there are, at times, there's just too much shit on screen, dude. There's a lot of times in the game where there's just too much shit on screen. And I can't see shit. So that would be one of my criticisms in terms of the visuals. But like I said, my biggest criticism is still going to be technical issues, performance issues, the multiplayer latency problems, all of that. Those are the biggest problems that I have. Now, a little bit more feedback. I feel like some of the quests could potentially give you a couple of more clues as to what you're supposed to do because it feels super easy to fuck up a quest. Like, easier to fuck up a quest in this game than in like Souls games or anything like that. Way easier to fuck it up in this game. But you know, it is one of those things where it is intended for you to do multiple playthroughs, experience multiple classes, try out lots of different things. So in a way it's also whatever, but you know. Now the level design I think is really good. I really appreciated the level design. I think they've done a fantastic job integrating Umbral and um, Umbral and Axiom. And the reason I say this is there's a lot of games that try doing this two world thing and they fail miserably. And I feel like in this one, they nailed that. So the level design I love. The combat I think is pretty good. Uh, there are They probably should balance out some of the weapons because like I said, I think spears just suck ass completely. I don't know how a lot of the other weapons feel, uh, but spears definitely sucked ass. Big hammers felt good. Regular hammers felt good. I think that regular swords probably feel good and great swords feel good too. So it, it just really goes back down to spears for me. I think spears completely suck ass. So they need to figure that stuff out. The last level, I, I think that they don't need to try as hard to just be assholes with the enemies. Um, and I think that potentially... Let's say at six at the sixty percent point mark, you know, in terms of like just say progression wise, like the latter forty percent of the game could potentially use a buff in difficulty. The radiant purifier. Okay. You want to begin a new journey? No, continue current journey. Uh, oh wow, you can actually see the dude with the hammer here. I really do like this hammer. I think this hammer looks badass. Probably do like a big beefy shield playthrough with a hammer like that. So it happens now. Warp to Vestige, Sky Rest. I'm assuming I still can't advance these quests. These quests are just broken at this point. Is there nothing in Mother's Lull? 
Is there actually nothing in Mother's Lull? Our holy work continues. Oh, you can do one more at plus 10. I'm missing like one charge to fully upgrade this. There is if you do the Umbral Ending. Okay, so Mother's Lull is only for the Umbral Ending. You can't do anything because you cleanse the beacons? Oh, cool, because in my other playthrough, I'm not cleansing any of them. Like in my, my other playthrough that I have of my Pyromancer, he's cleansed nothing. Everything's still red. Okay, then I can do the Mother's Lull thing. But wait, Mother's Lull is Umbral, so I can do the Umbral ending even while not playing an Umbral character? Feels kind of weird. So I guess that one ending... It, how many endings are there? Three endings or four endings? So did I see all of the bosses then? So if there's only three endings, I thought that like, what if you don't cleanse anything and then you go into Rogar, you still get this ending? Some beacons equals Umbral. Some beacons equals Umbral, no beacons equals Inferno. Your character doesn't matter, only beacons in the task. You don't go into Rogar. There's another boss in Mother's Lull. Okay. So I can't go fight the mother's the mother's lull boss then. I would imagine. Umber landing is convoluted as fuck. Okay. Alright, well, team, that is Lords of the Fallen. I like the game. I like the game a lot. Like I said, if, uh, if the game wasn't suffering from technical issues and performance, it would be a super easy recommendation. I think the game is a ton of fun. There's a lot of people throwing shit at the game. I disagree with a lot of that. My biggest thing is, I agree with anyone that wants to criticize performance, Anybody that wants to criticize the technical problems that they're experiencing, anybody that wants to criticize, you know, multiplayer latency, that I agree with. But there's a lot of other stuff that I've been hearing from people that I'm like, nah, mm -mm, don't agree. I think the game looks good. I think the game plays good. There's an adaptation period to it because of how floaty your role feels at the start. But once you get used to it, it feels really nice to play. And... It's just one of those things. I don't agree. There's a lot of people that are saying the game feels terrible to play. And I was like, ah, bro, I disagree. I completely disagree. So I think the game is a lot of fun. But I think the game is also plagued with performance, technical issues, multiplayer problems, all of these things. And that is the only thing that prevents me from just saying straight up, get this one. It's awesome. That is the only thing. Like if, if you take those things away, easiest recommendation. No problem. Favorite boss? Well, I don't even remember all of the bosses that I've done. Um, I think I actually really liked the Congregator of Flesh. That one was really cool. I feel like the Hushed Saint was not as fun. Let me actually, let me actually bring up all of the bosses. Because um, that will jog my memory. I'm a very visual guy. So let me see. Lords of the Fallen Bosses. Let's help the uh, view botters. Let's help the view botters, guys. We gotta help the view botters. Where's the list of bosses? Okay. Abyss Ursula. The Binding Defenders. Kinda cool. This one, Gigalame. Bringer of Nullity. Super easy. 
Andreas Veb is legit. He's a little bit challenging. Damaro's the marked. She was easy. Griefbound Browenna. Oh, I remember her. She's the one inside the thing. Kiranger, ba 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 ba, Pietam, Ruiner, Reinhold, the Immured. The Immured? Isn't it Immortal? Isn't it Reinhold the Immortal? I thought it was Reinhold the Immortal. <laughs> See, the problem with a lot of these bosses is that by the time I got to them, they just weren't challenging at all. So, you know, like for instance, I'm sure the Unbroken Promise is probably a really cool boss fight. I didn't get to see it. Because I just beat the shit out of her in seconds, which is why I've been saying, I feel like past the 60% mark, a lot of the bosses should actually be harder. Um... Mm, interesting, that boss that you guys are talking about is not here. You guys were saying that there's like a secret boss. It's not here. Because I fought all of these. Which one's the secret boss? Or did they not have it? It is? Elyon the Starved? Oh yeah, it's Elyon the Starved. Okay, this one is the one that I didn't fight. So I fought everything else every optional thing they had i think the coolest one i think it's actually pieta i think pieta i think they open with their best boss fight straight up i think pieta is the coolest boss like looking at all of these because of the fact that once i got to that point where my build came online i just shredded everything it's like, look, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you where are the mechanics of, uh, I don't know, the Unbroken Promise. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't know. The mechanics was I beat her shit until she stopped moving. Like, what are the mechanics of, uh, what's his face? Um, I forget his name. Who was it? It's the guy that's at the bottom of the Tower of Penance. What are the mechanics? Tancred. What are the mechanics of Tancred? <laughs> I slapped this face until he stopped moving. And then I slapped this brother around too until he stopped moving. You know, that's the thing. Did you fight the judge? Yeah, I fought the judge. The judge was not particularly interesting. But like, Pieta, definitely. Pieta is awesome. I like Pieta a lot. So she's probably my favorite one. Uh, the Abiding Defenders was alright. Like, like to give you guys an idea, Abess Ursula, pretty easy. Uh, she was already at that point where things were getting easy. And it's not a super interesting fight, so it's whatever. It's it's okay. Abiding Defenders were chill. Andreas Aved was pretty cool. He's actually challenging. Blessed Carrion Knight Sanisho. It's weird because I don't understand how his mechanic work. I've killed him twice already. I don't understand what the deal is. It just feels like at the end he needs to suicide. But it's a neat fight. It's all right. The Bringers. Uh, the Bringers, it, it was too easy for me. And I don't like the Reaper enemy, so pff, whatever. Percival was cool. Uh, Damros was alright, I guess. I hated her. The Mistress of Hounds? Screw that. I hate those goddamn dogs. Uh, Griefbound Rowena was annoying too. Yeah, she's very annoying. I don't like those fights. Uh, Dervla, too easy. Oli Bull Arcado. Obviously, that's the first boss. It's whatever. Infernal Enchantress. Uh, she was neat. Judge Cleric was okay. Kiranger. Kiranger is interesting. Yeah, it's a good boss fight. It teaches you the moveset of the, the dudes that you have to fight next. Mendacious Visage is cool. Paladin's Burden's cool. Pieta is the best. This I didn't even get to see her mechanics. This I didn't even get to see his mechanics. <laughs> uh, Ruiner is also pretty easy. Scourge Sister was actually a neat fight too. I like her. Spurned Progeny I didn't like. It feels clunky this fight to me for some reason. Uh, Skin Stealer was also too easy. Congregator of Flesh is cool. Hollow Crow, I hate. It's one of the worst fights in the game. This, Hollow Crow, and what's his face? A deer are the worst fights of the game. They're the they're straight up the worst fights of the game. They're bad. They're straight up bad. Like it's not even one of those situations where, I, oh, I don't like this boss. No, I actually think the boss fight is bad. The hollow crow and a deer are just straight up bad boss fights. 
I, and if anybody wants to give me an argument why they're good, I can have that discussion. But there's, I just think they're straight up bad boss fights. Uh, Iron Warfare is cool. Hushed Saints, all right. I'm not a huge fan of his mechanic. It's kind of weird. Uh, Sundered Monarch, he's all right. Yeah, all these other ones are all right. Sure, but Pieta is cool. I like Pieta. But anyways, team, like I said, this is going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out. Hit the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon. Bye.